Oh, he left Jennifer Aniston for Angelina Jolie. What a fucking yeah. mistake that was, eh? Yeah, and then Karma, God damn. Karma took her tits away. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what was going on at the anime store, Hunter? <laughs> well, if you follow my second channel, Papa Meat, just give it a second to go over and click the sub and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I went and I bought a uh, anime statue, trying to branch out of my comfort zone and get a fun. You know, you, you guys have been buying. Yeah, you, you have your Akuma things, all that kind of stuff. And I was like, oh, I'll go to a store. I'll, I'll look stupid doing it. I'll, I'll go in there and ask for a lewd statue, which is kind of out of my comfort zone. Don't really like doing that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So I'm in there. We're, we're filming and stuff. And uh, I get this character named Cece. She has like green hair and her like ass is up in the air. You can kind of see her pussy lips. And What is she from? You know, they didn't tell you what anime she's from. The no, woman in I, the video definitely she was like, figured you, you for you a know, fucking casual. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, the, the comments have been... <laughs> Holy shit! People being like, "If that fucking bitch would have said that to me, whatever, I would have knocked her out." I'm like, "God damn!" She was like super nice. I think that it was probably just a genuine confusion. I showed up with my gate creeper shorts on, my giant flannel, like homeless man Carhartt jacket. Probably all fit so far, huh? It probably all fit so far. Well, regardless, it's just with your flip flops. Menacing. Yeah. No, no flip flops. Oh, well, I think I might even have my Nike Monarchs, which are dad shoes. <laughs> I think that's why I can't remember. But um, I I go in and then she's like, I was like, hey, can I get something on the case? She's like, oh yeah, sure. Which one? And I said, I don't know the character's name. Oh. Uh, so immediately she was like, okay. You, and I, you and just, I, and you I just had like fuck point. that one. You don't know who it is. You just well, it's it. like. <laughs> If I if it were me at the store, I would have been like, okay, so this is like some weird sexual shit, and I'm not gonna ask anything else. But I think she was just genuinely like, oh, like what, what is like if you don't know the character, why would you get it? And I was like, uh, <laughs> I'm just trying to branch out my comfort zone. She kind something. of figured you too, though. She was like, is this a dare? Well, yeah, she kept asking. And then she was like, so are you get, are you like da getting dared to buy this? And I was like, no, I just like want it. Like I think it's. That's, that's I, one and thing I, you should have said in the video, that the camera was really discreet, too. It's not like she had a camera in her face. She was like, oh, this guy's being a Well, dick. I wanted to, like, we had this. It was a cell phone. And then yeah, I was yeah. really, we we're trying hard to, one, not show the business, and then, mm -hmm. like, name or whatever. And then also to not show the people's faces or anything like that. But did she realize the whole thing was being filmed on a cell phone? I can't tell. So, I don't well, that's think what so. I mean. Yeah, so it's discreet. So she's not yeah, looking yeah, at you yeah. like this is an asshole, like doing the, a bit. Yeah, because like, I really didn't want it to be like you're a weird guy with your like, friend trying to yeah, buy a, a hentai figurine. I, and all of it was very genuine. Like I was going up and like it was just yeah. seeing them like put it into the case and everything. I was like, oh god, like what kind of angel works at that store though? I, I, all of them were so nice. Mm -hmm. And then also the whole time though, people were like. There was like two little, there was like two kids in there with like these snapback hats on, and they were like pointing at all of the uh, figurines, just being like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> <laughs> so it was like just an uncomfortable tension in the entire thing. But the workers couldn't have been nicer. Yeah, you know, it, it, it was it must have been l literal, genuine confusion of just like what. So your your step is from this Vegeta sculpture to CC, and I was like, uh, 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 yeah, I just tried to branch out my comfort zone. She's like, do you want to sign up for a rewards program? I'm like, I don't think I'll be. Back. <laughs> <laughs> and then the big twist. Oh yeah. Okay. So then uh, we post the video. And then um, I really, I, when I saw the footage, I thought that the whole thing made me look really stupid. Was, and what was, what was like where the comedy was supposed to be coming from in the video to begin with of like, you know, I go in there and I'm like asking for this thing. This person is just like, why are you buying this? You know, like immediately getting called out. But people like were like, who the fuck is she to like say like, like, why the fuck is she gatekeeping so hard? And I'm like, I didn't really read it as that at all. Mm. Did you guys? I mean, I didn't read it as that. I had no, I have no opinion. The store itself commented mm. on the post that I did. And they're like, yeah, I mean, we were all really confused. We were looking at the camera footage. So they were like watching me walk around. And like, I had like a B-Stars comic. And I was like rubbing my dick. <laughs> and all sorts of stuff. <laughs> 
<laughs> and like, yeah, there's this guy walking around, this large man walking around, with, like rubbing oh, his like crotch the and looking at they yeah, yeah. The No, no, while, while I was in the store. So they, they oh, were right in the back. Oh, like, live. live. I think, yeah, I think at come, the come desk check this or whatever. Out, Carl. Yeah, probably yeah. at the desk. And yeah, it was two of them at the, and they're probably like looking at me. And I was like pacing back and forth, and I was like, oh, God, because I was nervous. And I kept like looking in the lewd case and like looking back out, and then going over to the section where it's like kind of like uh, spicy. Yeah, uh, yeah, manga yeah. or whatever, uh -huh. yeah. and yeah, I was like, for the bit, we I grabbed one. I was like, rub my dick and stuff like that, and they were like, yeah, we were just really confused by the whole thing because <laughs> they probably didn't know I was recording either. Because I mean, Nick was like, I think the whole time when he was recording, he was just kind of like that yeah, or whatever, yeah. you know, like yeah, yeah, yeah. it was really discreet. perfectly natural, neutral pose. Well, I don't think you think you much know. of it. Of like, I think he was like even doing that, I see. or whatever. Like it was a pretty, it was pretty natural, but um. Yeah, they commented on it, and I felt so bad. And I messaged them afterwards, and I was like, "Hey, just so you know, the video was not meant to like dog on you guys. It was supposed to make me look stupid mm -hmm. or like silly and uncomfortable, blah blah, just as like a bit." And I just said, "Like, and I to and to be fair, like, I love that statue. You should drill a giant hole into our asshole so you can put your whack and pen in it and be a pen holder. That would be good. I would do that if it wasn't almost a three hundred dollars sculpture. Yeah, I think it's. I a think that would idea. make it even better. I think that would ruin the aesthetics of the sculpted pussy and the like, literally, yeah. Bit I mean, gloss the, that's on. Well, that do, part. do her asshole then. It's so close to it. Yeah, it's gonna you, come you don't understand the craftsmanship. Do the back of her head. <laughs> I want to do her face because they they everything else is really nicely sculpted on there, but mm -hmm. then they paint the eyes on and it looks so fucked. Look at flat eyes. That's anime, dude. Mm -hmm. That's literally that's literally like accurate, you know? To, All these yeah, to, awesome to the character. Volume, yeah, and then, and the then just like just... a flat face. <laughs> yeah. All right, okay, sorry, man. Don. What were you saying? Well, just that uh everyone thought she was being a bitch for calling you out, but they were just watching you like masturbate to B stars and not realize it was a video for twenty minutes, you know. Isn't that know? the internet though? People and then, and then just... you and then you come waddling up, you're like, Can you open the, the display? Yeah, exactly. Case? I will get up for a case and they're like, <laughs> which one? I don't know her name. I <laughs> I feel I feel like uh, I'm surprised that's as uncommon as it is that they would remark on it. That's true. Yeah, you'd think yeah, you'd get well, a guy just like you all the time. <laughs> well, the thing is, is I, I think that like my body type and like stature goes in there. Like mm -hmm. I can see big neck beardy kind of guys going in there. But you better believe they know those characters. That's true. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, be, I mean, a guy be like, I don't know the name. Versus a guy being like, the CC statue, the one where she's bent over to pussies up at the end, that one. They're probably like, no shame. Because it's probably so normal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. SKU number six. Seven, yeah. <laughs> skew, yeah. SKU 25884. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the website that you have, and I memorized I, the SKU yeah. number that came down here on my bike. <laughs> I didn't see the box that show up. It's in the display case. I'll get that one. And I will say, too, one thing I noticed when I was, because there's also this bit in the video where I'm, like, talking about it in my truck for a second outside the place. Because mm -hmm. as soon as I got in the truck, I was like, oh, God. Like, I felt like I had just escaped. <laughs> so, like, I was like, thank God that it's over. But as we, as I was, like, sitting there recording, I noticed that, I don't know if this is common, and I want to ask people in the comments or whatever, but there were so many people that showed up afterwards and cosplay to that store. There wasn't, mm -hmm. I, and there might have been an event going on, but it's a pretty small store. But is it I, is it common for people to like dress up in cosplay mm -hmm. and, and go, go to, to the anime store? Mm. But there's no place to also sit down or anything. Right. It's like just to buy shit. It's probably if you're like a anime cosplay Instagram person, it's probably like a destination to take pictures for your your deal. Is yeah. this like yeah. a pretty like rare spot? Is it a pretty rare spot? Yeah. Like how how idea. much kind of shit like this is around Austin? Hmm. Well, I think that th that the thing about that store is that it's like two blocks away from that anime bookstore, hmm. and that whole that whole district, all that is like Japanese like market restaurants, the bookstore. Some it might be like a little hub. Yeah, I think around the bigger there. one is like. A Again, it's like an Instagram bait thing. Like, that one like is Lexi over there. Heard of it. She was like, oh, I've seen that store. Probably like, on Instagram, you know, whatever. Social media mm -hmm. and stuff. Yeah. Well, I think that, I think the the bookstore, I think it's like a chain mm -hmm. and it's like in like a lot of like cities, like hot spot cities. So mm -hmm. I think it's like a hip spot or whatever. But yeah, anyways, I just, there's just a lot of that stuff around there, which they could have just opened that because like, oh, the that little Me market. Can you just moved here? 
Yeah, that's what they did. <laughs> I was like, God, we opened shop. You don't even know what happened. Um, but yeah, I have no idea. It was a cool store. I mean, it was fine. I think if it was too big, like there's that, uh, <clears throat> well, we, we, I think we've been to it as well. There's like that comic store that has, uh, like glass cases of figurines and like mm. the huge yeah. Marvel oh, stuff. Giant and it's, Hulk. And it's like too much. We were yeah, like, right. I, there's, I, I have to get away from this. I'm fucking claustrophobic or something. So the selection being so, I guess, minor and just like to the point was nice. But the other spot we went to, because we went to that place and then, or not this, to, but the other time me and Trevor went, the place that was next to that comic shop. Yeah, we, there's this comic shop that had this homeless crack addict that was just out there. He was like, ah, fuck, I die, screaming and stuff. But there was like a really cool, like, uh, it was like a off-market kind of uh, figurine shop. So it was like, it might have been a SpongeBob thing, but it was like an, uh, like an artist did like a rendition of it, and it was like them selling it. Creature Kid had a figurine in there. Oh, really? So is all of it just like custom... It was like it was like underground shit, like uh, yeah, cool. off market stuff. But then there was some. That's where I bought like uh, I got like an Aqua Teen Hunger Force thing from there. Hmm. Oh, we gotta have to check that out. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, it was it was a really good time. So it's like originals, like original yeah, sculptures yeah. and stuff. Yeah, really I think awesome. by independent artist and also like collections from like maybe more right, like not huge companies, but little companies that sh shell them out to with women and mm -hmm. sculpts or whatever. Yeah, do you reckon the homeless man's actually just a really passionate anime fan? Definitely right. not. That man was high as fuck. Maybe he's angry that Attack on Titan's ending. It was funny because there was even a cop that drove by I saw and he was at the light because there's a there's a stoplight. Like, <laughs> you were right motioning to the cop you're like, no, I was like, oh shit it's about to go down because I thought the guy was going to pull He just go. reaches <laughs> for his pistol <laughs> <laughs> but he uh, You're like, thank god, I feel safe now. He uh, uh, but he was looking at him and I was like, oh he's definitely, because I've seen it before in Portland especially where cops are like okay, let's go and they're like, don't fucking touch me and it's like a whole ordeal mm. but uh and this, the guy was just at the stoplight looking at him. And then he, like, looked over. And you could just see he was on his phone. He was just like... And he didn't even fucking do anything. Gets his microphone stand out. His little speaker. Does Blue Laughs Matter? Oh, it's the same guy! Oh, it's no. a callback! Callback! Black and blue comedy! Pulls in. Ooh, ooh. Pulls in. <laughs> What's the thing with trunk. anime, huh? Woo. Opens up his trunk. <laughs> Starts selling his merch. <laughs> I actually even forgot about that bit. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is he talking about? It's one of the best bits in all of Cream Crew history, guys. No? Yeah! <laughs> yeah. That's nice. So, I mean, they're probably, they're probably so fucking used to it that they're just like, what's yeah. even the point? Yeah, another callback for you. In the Rooster Teeth Hates Flash Kids episode, I described that cop who I ran my, uh, you stole my show joke. He was, well, he was like a former cop that used to work here. But the reason he quit is like, apparently their whole job is, uh, just telling homeless people to leave wherever they are, you know? Probably. And then it's just like that nonstop, and then sometimes you get shot at, so he was like, yeah, fuck this. Jesus. Yeah. yeah. The homeless people have guns. No, he, we, he showed me the video, <laughs> actually. He had the dash cam video on his camera, but he was like in a police gate chase and got shot at. And that oh, was God. Night, that was a night he quit. He was like, yeah, fuck this. Fuck this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I, I tell you what, though, I wouldn't, be, I wouldn't even be surprised if homeless people had guns. By my old house over there, Underneath the bridges, you would see them pl like on cell phones. I'm like, how are you homeless with a phone plan? <laughs> a fucking iPhone is what, like a grand or whatever? <laughs> like, what the fuck? They're all sitting there, like, using their hotspot playing. Like, one of them had a fucking ping pong table. It's like a whole chill thing. They're like, just fucking living it up down there. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Get a job! <laughs> exactly. You have to pay like the rest of us. I like drive you off. You better pay your fucking taxes! <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Drive through them. I wanna, yeah, I call the IRS. There's some stuff going on. In this yeah, they, those people are not paying their taxes. If I'm paying, <laughs> those motherfuckers are going to have to pay. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. You have to tax their tent or whatever they have. Tax them. I, I, I agree. It feels like uh, the whole, I don't know, is the homeless problem thing like it seems like it's cleared up a lot since when we used I to mean, come here. I mean, from my old house, there isn't any <laughs> people there's, living there's on this. One guy. Just one guy. They cleared out that town. There's one Just guy. one fucking Lone Ranger. One Lone Ranger. Mm -hmm. The Still. sheriff. Yeah. <laughs> the captain going down with his ship. Do you reckon he was the snitch? He ratted them all yeah. out and got the cops in. And the cops were like, enjoy your new bridge. He was like, yeah, finally. It's some ah. Game of Thrones-esque fucking political espionage. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows what's going on under those bridges? 
Yeah. Probably definitely some sister fucking at least. Probably. I wonder how many incest cases happen every year. Do you reckon they, I mean, there's, there's probably not all that many homeless women, right? Or if there are, they probably get like better protections afforded. Like I'm you don't saying. see a lot of homeless women, do you? It's mostly men. I imagine that a lot of them, it must be, I bet it's pretty even. I've seen a lot of homeless women. <clears throat> I just, there must be a lot of like, I think there's risky sex. Men. Yeah. A lot of, a lot of like unwanted pregnancies. And then do they just go and get like an abortion or I guess the baby probably doesn't have any, enough nutrition to come to term anyway, but it's yeah. You never see like, this was actually a paper I wrote in school, which was homeless birth. Really? No. That would be awesome. Yeah, would be <laughs> I was fun. so ready to. Yeah. I was, oh I was, my god! Really? Please, yeah. please. Fifteen-year-old <laughs> hunter talking about homeless like birth. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Statistical. Homeless pregnancy. It's a birth. Be- it's a beat poem. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Where does the baby go? <laughs> How does the baby survive? It doesn't. It's Billy clubbed. <laughs> it doesn't. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Uh, I don't know. No. Anyways, back to incest. So I wonder how many incest cases there are every year. Just in general. In general. Unrelated to homelessness. Yeah. Well, there and there's probably the only way that I'm wondering if the only way that they could even count it is pregnancies is where I was getting at. Because if you go to the hospital and you do all that, who's the father? Oh, I don't know. I, right? I don't know. I feel like it comes out with tentacles <laughs> flying around the room. <laughs> <laughs> it's an incest baby. How hot would your sister have to be to want to have incest? Or I guess how ugly would she have to be? Because I feel like you never see like hot people having incest. You always wonder what the dyma- dynamic is with that. Because like, how does it start? I feel like inevitably, almost always when you're younger with your siblings, you hate them. If you're mm-hmm. Ben Shapiro sneaking around your house <laughs> and you see those big, yeah, you see those big honkers through the crack of a door. Maybe you start lingering a bit when you go to your sister's room to sit at the end of her bed and talk to her, <laughs> you know? Maybe your your hand accidentally brushes up against her foot. Maybe that's where it starts. <laughs> oh, it smells like honey. <laughs> Is that honey and milk? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not because of her big bazungas, but mm. a biblical reference. Right. The land of milk and honey. <clears throat> oh, okay. what, what, what was the name of it? Come on, guys. Can it? Yeah, no, I got you. All right, nice. Yeah, I feel you. Hell yeah, Don. Yeah. Bump it, bro. Mm-hmm. Boom. It's the promised land. Come in. <laughs> Hell yeah, yeah it's the promised land. The rivers will run with milk and honey. Yeah. yeah. It's my sister's bedroom. Yeah. yeah. He's Australian now. He's yeah. my sister's bedroom. Yeah. I'm going to fuck your sister's bedroom. Fuck off. Uh, yeah, I don't know. That's, uh, I don't know how it happens. I don't want to know how it happens. You've and got especially, a sister. Yeah, well, I've never experienced that. Mr. Missouri, you sure about that? That's true. Well, there was a, well, a couple of times. <laughs> no, uh, but nothing beyond the pale. <laughs> yeah. Just a reach around. Nothing that anybody else wouldn't look at. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you want to get cuddled and a hand job at the same time? <laughs> that sounds lovely. <laughs> and a little spoon. Doesn't that sound nice? Oh. You're just like, ah. oh. You're all enveloped and getting a tug. I'm like trying to get out. <laughs> <laughs> like, come on now. Hey. Oh, we got a live one. Come on now. I'm going to break you, boy. He settled down. Don't, yeah. Tell no one. Tell no one about this. <laughs> That's your sister. Yeah. Tell no one. Don't you tell no one, boy. Tell no one Don't about you go this. tell mom. Yeah, like, okay. Don't tell Mar, pa. I'll kill you. Or I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> Hunter's an upbringing of fear. Yeah. <laughs> My fucking little house on the prairie upbringing. Yeah, lived on a farm, no internet, no way to get help. Yeah, exactly. Can't leave like I messages even, on. Yeah, I couldn't AOL message anybody for BBS help. BBS forums. <laughs> <laughs> Just me. Look, sure. sh- sh- shut up. Sure. What are you going to do? Have the cows help you? Ain't no one can hear you. <laughs> there ain't no one for five miles, Hunter. <laughs> for five odd miles down the road. <laughs> <laughs> Go on now, Hunter. Squeal. <laughs> I think I watched Deliverance for the first time with. Oh, wow. Uh, with. Uh, I think it was like on a date. Oh, I had never seen it. Before. Okay, who and suggested there, that? You or her? 
I saw it. Well, I suggested it because I thought that it was a horror ah, movie. Which it, it is a horror movie. It's very but, scary. But I, uh, the reason I wanted to watch it was because in the some kind of monster documentary, <laughs> in the room in their kitchen, they have a some Nightmare on Elm Street monster. poster, and then they have a Deliverance poster. And I was like, oh, I've never seen that movie Did before. Did this girl know what she was in for? No, we had no idea. So you're like... I was like, oh, it's like some movie from this the is, 70s. This is a movie we should watch. I was like, oh, I think it's like this old horror film. And she's like, oh, cool, put it on. And it was just haunting. Did you? Did I'll you tell you what. Cuff having... her breast whilst the guy was getting raped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, trying to make a move. She's like, "What a horrible <laughs> time!" <laughs> oh, it's not related. I, I just. Thought, I wasn't even barely paying attention to the movie. <laughs> wee, wee. <laughs> she was like looking at me beforehand, and I was just like, "Rock hard." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe how good the acting is in this movie, right? That's a that's a fucking big, thing big. too, right? Can Ooh. you imagine your actor and it's like. All right, um, you're getting raped, and you're the director. You got to give this guy stage direction. You're like, okay, it was good, but I didn't really like feel it. Mm-hmm. Can you can you really push on the rees? It's just got to be a whole dynamic that very few amount of people get to experience. Mm. I don't know how people go. I mean, like I, <clears throat> I say this shit in to Allison every time I watch a movie with like a sex scene. I'm like, I don't know how people are comfortable enough doing that shit. If it's a fucking hot chick, like, cool. Even then, though, it's like just a weird, and it's supposed to be something that's like mimicking something really intimate, and it's like you're mm-hmm. you're self aware. Dude, I would sexy. buy into it in the moment. You know, Let me just you're looking at this you're beautiful, beautiful chick. Beautiful. You're like you're like on top of her. <laughs> she's like, that, like that. looking down. And you're just like, God, let me just put it in. Let me just let me just put it in. <laughs> 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 So you got to cut to Tom's uh, camera on that part. I uh, I think, uh, well, I always tell Allison, too, I'm like, I wonder if they just fuck beforehand. Like, if it's two attractive actors, I wonder if they just fuck, Maybe like, just the fuck. day before, then it's, like, way less awkward. <laughs> I think they uh, I think they usually just do, like, a pillow. Like, I read a thing about um, Jake Gyllenhaal. Had to fuck he just Jennifer fucks a pillow something. first. No, no, he, well, yeah, yeah, well, that would be cool, too. Gets out of his system. I think he was, oh. I think he, they were doing the scene, and yeah, you get a fucking a picture of her on it. Because you're yeah. pretending to fuck Jennifer Aniston, and she just, she just asked for a pillow, and like, she just, she, I think she just said, like, I'm just going to put this here, you know. Ah, oh, what? That's got to destroy his confidence. <laughs> so she, she, put, yeah. she puts it on she her. She didn't put a pillow there for Brad Pitt. Yeah, yeah, a barrier. Yeah, and then they just. Yeah, let me. So she it. can't feel the but big he, rods. He's he is fucking the pillow while they. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Why did I even get into this? <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Hold on! If anything, it feels weirder. Because imagine, like, you just have a little pillow that you know is the dividing factor, and you're like looking at this guy on top of you, and he's like. <laughs> 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 They're professionals. Do you kind of feel like though that you'd feel like insulted, like the you wouldn't? No, she didn't I wouldn't. Do, no, no. Listen, you, you've seen enough behind the scenes. You're like you didn't do that with fucking Brad Pitt. Mm-hmm. You know why? Do, why am I pillow guy? She's like that was two pillows. <laughs> that was <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's so many pillows. There's got to be like certain actresses. Like if if some and that's all you. That's all you'd have to do to please a man. Well, actually, with him it was two pillows, but with you, I'm only using one. You'd be like, oh my god, <laughs> really? Yeah, mm-hmm. you got to assume there is like a hunk out there who the women would be like, no pillow, we don't need a pillow, mm-hmm. right? So then it makes you feel bad when she's like, pillow, definitely pillow. I feel like every time they're probably like, pillow. Ah, I don't know about N- that. Name an instance. You're telling me Ooh. old fucking Jason Momoa fucking walks on in, old Aquaman, old Aquaglide? Well, you have to imagine that how many of those people are married on set. Yeah, and then get left. <laughs> For the new dynamic, Mr. and Mrs. Smith happens all the time. <laughs> me and my wife, me and my husband have a rule that when I'm on set, anything can happen. She just hocks a loogie on her fingers and like sp- goes down there. She's like, put on in if you want to, Aquaman. Well, didn't, uh, was Jennifer Aniston not with Brad Pitt? <laughs> that's uh, that's, that's uh, uh, Amber Lynn, whoever, who, whoever destroyed Johnny Depp's life. Was, Jen- it was. was Jennifer Aniston with Brad Pitt? And then he left her for time. Angelina Jolie. Yeah. During the that's Mrs. what Mrs. I'm Smith saying. Thing. I bet no pillow was involved. And they caught feelings. Maybe. Oh, he left Jennifer Aniston for Angelina for, Jolie. What a fucking know. mistake that was, eh? Yeah, and then Karma, God damn. Karma took her tits away. <laughs> <laughs> That's rude. Curse. You can't say that. God is on Jennifer Aniston's side because of Bruce Almighty. He, he, do you know what he's saying right now? Bruce, Bruce Almighty forwarded okay, the Christian the bre- cause. So she got breast cancer. So he's yeah. saying Karma. <laughs> so she got oh, fucking breast yeah. cancer. Good, good Christian, good Christian girl. Our God is an awesome God. He raised. He uh, gave Angelina Jolie cancer. 
<laughs> oh, she, God. She, um, <laughs> I, uh, half the time I say stuff on here, I'm afraid to say it. Cause I, say it! There's say like it, a, there's say like it, a, there's say it, There's like a 70% chance my brain just invented it. A oh, 90%, 90% chance. chance, yeah. Okay. But she, so she had to get a... Uh, she had to get her, her breast removed because of the cancer, right? And then the, she had them reconstructed, right? Yeah, don't don't you lose your nipples when that happens? No. I have no idea. They go, I, come I, on. I think, I think they're not just going to be like, you're now nipple No, no, no. I think nice nips. They, they would I, definitely. Yeah, Trevor's not. No, I, think, I think that they literally. I they think, would put on fake nipples. They don't know how to. I think that they might Little suction you. cups. You know how you stick suction cups to the window of your windshield? I don't think they actually. To put a phone on it. I don't think they know how to make. <laughs> they don't know how to make a fake nipple. I think. They definitely that's, know that's, how to make a fake nipple. That's crazy, right? That's happened with color, they actually. know how to make fake nipples. Like, Have you uh, seen fuck dolls? They like, know. Like uh, yeah, but to to be who's, part who's of your double sided sticky man. tape. Bro, what, you just you just Christina stick Applegate. your nipples on. In the Why morning? not? Yeah. It's better than just she having had, two smooth her, orbs. She she well, well yeah, that's that's the weird thing though. She, if that's true, she's walking around with two huge tits it, without. Nipples. He feels like he's in Beowulf a hundred percent of the time. I'm Beowulf. Uh, okay, <laughs> very proud of that, huh? <laughs> I just remember that movie. Whenever they, that's, he just said it like f fifteen times. Yeah, I don't. I am Beowulf. Don't want to remember Beowulf. There's no need. I am Beowulf. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So as it turns out, there are realistic prosthetic nipples. Oh wow, that's crazy. Who would have guessed? It is wild. Well, yeah, were you so. saying that they, there wasn't realistic prosthetic nipples? I, I think maybe they're expensive, or that's a recent thing. Exactly. Angelina, 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 Oh, that's not going to look oh, real. That's not going to yeah. stand up to scrutiny. No. I'm trying to fucking no, put that not. in my mouth. Probably not, Tom. Roll it around my tongue like a fucking tutti frutti. I'm like, what? Uh -huh. what what's going on? <laughs> what a horrid image. <laughs> I just pictured you with a fucking... Like a hit. jelly top? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a second. Hold on. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> yeah. You, you know, you, you know when like, there's like an iguana and it sees like a painted fly and it fucking it just, this <laughs> lizard brain just can't <laughs> fucking <laughs> process what the hell is going on. You, you blink the same way too, where it's like to the sides. <laughs> you just do a confusion. No. And then I say, I'm a Beowulf. Uh -huh, is this a new catchphrase? Do we have a new one? I'm Beowulf. <laughs> He's Beowulf, dude. Old fucking Anglo-Saxon tale. Yeah. Yeah. One of the few we have. It's true. Oh, it was all wiped out. Of the mountain below. That's an interesting point there, because Tolkien invented the Lord of the Rings and shit to be a, a tale of uh, mythology and shit for the English people. There you go. Because all of it was wiped out by the, by the Christian domination of England. And there you go. Yeah, I think we all won in the end. I bail uh, wolf. <laughs> did we? Because uh -huh. God gave Angelina Jolie <clears throat> tick cancer. That's right. It always, <laughs> guys, it always comes back around. Yeah. I think it's uh, a horrible <laughs> joke we all made. Actually, I'm not going to say we. I'm not going to say we because I didn't even, I didn't even participate in it. <clears throat> Do you reckon they make kid size ones like fake, fake nips? I bet you they probably do it for everybody. The only thing though is I wonder if they don't do it for when you're a kid and they're like, hey, you get the just, tattoo. No, you, you you wait till you're, I don't know, twenty five. So it's the right size. Yeah, so yeah. it's like then, you're, you end up with tiny then your gutty works are all figured mm -hmm. out. You don't think that it's kind of like a um, what's it called? What's the system called where you can just like unplug and plug in new ones? Modular. You don't think it's modular? Well, I, well at that point, I'd be like, if if they're like, I want to have my, you know, son or daughter or whatever. The prosthetic nipples. I think it means a lot to him. At that point, I think the doctor would be like, <laughs> it means a lot. Uh. <clears throat> What what do they need the nipples for? That's what I would say. What what it's like? My son is oh, trans. Oh no! Or they could say body. He needs girl they nipples. Could say body dysmorphia, I guess. Yeah, he needs girl yeah. nipples. What am I sucking on? <laughs> <laughs> so gross. <You're> so right. <laughs> yeah, he's just like, all right. <laughs> all right. Well, we'll get you up on the operating table, and it'll be a fourteen-hour procedure. <laughs> I want for the two nipples. I want the pacifier it. edition. It takes like a scalpel, and he's just like. <laughs> Just starts the satanic ritual. Yeah. Be the lost novel. Oh, what a fun foray into Je uh, Je fucking Angelina Jolie's life we just had, hey? <clears throat> hey, wasn't that fun?
All because we were wondering what happens in sex scenes. Do you reckon there was a pillow for deliverance? Uh, <laughs> you know what, Tom? <laughs> I'm going to go out and, on a limb and say there probably was not a pillow for deliverance. Oh. And I bet you knew that he didn't do that, too, because what if the guy got hard? Huh? On the pillow? No, on the guy's fucking flat on his ass. So why would that be a reason for no yeah, pillow? Why, why wouldn't? Well, you what I'm saying, want a pillow in that case? No, what I'm saying, but would not not add to the like, oh, 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 like oh, the freak out thing. Because that's some that's some old Hollywood movie that is, directing. That's, that's some seventies grind. <laughs> yeah, action. that's that's some fucking like. I bet you anything too. They're like, hey, by the way, it's hot out here. You want this? And they fucking like drugged his, put like Viagra in his water, or whatever. <laughs> and he's like, God, my dick's so hard. He's like, we have we have to shoot today. What's if the, we don't shoot. What's that one where the guy acts through the door and the director just the shining the shining that mm. just tortured the woman, just tortured mm. her. Well, did you know they they did that scene like three hundred times? Mm. They just like they, they they would destroy the door and they would put a new one on and they did that like I'm not even joking like three hundred times. It's like a flash glitch recording session. It it's <laughs> not not as excruciating. But, yes. <laughs> but yeah, no, she's well, crazy now too. <clears throat> like he broke her. Yeah, that I, is old Hollywood. Yeah, you can't filmmaking. I, you, you can't can. fucking yes, blame can. on him. But yes, he did with. <laughs> Both of them, though, because it was supposed to be like deranged. Yeah, and it came yeah, through, yeah. and that's like you know one of the most iconic came through. Things all and the same thing for Deliverance. No, I think she was she was she was like tortured through the whole movie to make her like just well a he like he, he, he was a screen, I know? think Screaming he like did a he mm -hmm. disassociated and like gaslit her a yeah, lot. Yeah. And I think it was yeah to keep her in that constant state of like uh, uh, you know <laughs> mm -hmm. which is horrible, but that is old Hollywood. But <laughs> you're on a, you're on a Kubrick film, right? Yeah, that's what that, that, that. that's that's the guiding light. I'm on a Kubrick film. You know, get you back of your head, and he comes in. He's just like, "Hey, didn't you say that you would clean up that mess out there?" And she's like, "I'm an actor. Why would I?" Do? He's like, "Kind of weird. I thought that you. Okay, so you're just gonna leave that mess on the floor? Okay, well, clean that up before the, the shoot starts." And she's like, I'm on a Kubrick film. <laughs> "Yeah, that's uh, yeah, Shelley Duvall. Fucked. Yeah, Shelley Duvall. Mm -hmm. I think she. Yeah, she's like out in the. It, she lives in some remote place, and she's yeah. just like literally crazy. You no, know? mm -hmm. it's pretty sad." Yeah. Shining though. You're so on the side of Kubrick. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah. How are every, you not? every piece Pretty of how, how are you not? Well, look, I mean, yeah. I, I mm -hmm. yeah, greatness. <laughs> I, you know, I think Broker was the Popeye movie with Robin Williams. That was really the, <laughs> <laughs> the camel. Yeah. Was that, was the that, that was after the shining too, right? I think so. So, so it's like, oh yeah, so she she's fucking uh what's her face? No. What's, what's, oh, uh what 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 is what her? is even the name of the character? Oh, all of yeah, yeah, them. Yeah, I always Hey Popeye! Good job, Kubrick. You turned her into olive oil. It's perfect. Is that uh, is she called olive oil because it makes spinach tastier? Maybe I don't know. What's the what's the en enemy called? Is now? it because she's so fucking slick, slippery wet? The it's enemy's name in that in Popeye is Brutus. It's, a, it's something like that. I think. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's Henry close. Or? I think it's close. Well, I'm surprised it isn't food based. If everything else is, is Popeye Popeye is not really. Chicken. I guess chicken. Popeye chicken. Did it come? Which came <laughs> first, Hunter? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I thought Popeye was a uh, a kind of food though back in the day. Blue toe, mm -hmm. okay. Which is kind of steak. Is he? What kind of nationality is that? I wonder if that was like a racist. He seems kind of like, blue, yeah, like he a seems racist kind of like stereotype or Russian rapist guy. He yeah. does seem kind of Russian. He, he seems kind of Russian, doesn't well, he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like which brings Polish. us to our next topic: the war in Ukraine. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> It's weird. <clears throat> it is funny that like okay, Alex Ovechkin is, is uh, a villain in Papa and Bruce, by the way. Okay. Okay, Trevor. Okay, you were right. What do you want? Should we just gaslight Trevor like Shelley Deville was <laughs> gaslit? You said you were driving home this weekend, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought I could have swore you said you were leaving. Oh, dude, what are you still doing here? <laughs> <laughs> you're late. You must be so late right now. <laughs> I'm with you. <laughs> Trevor said you have to literally be retarded to get gaslit, and I agree 100%. There's like one person with like some serious traumatic shit listening to this, and they're just like... <laughs> yeah, just be more sure of yourself, idiot. Mm. <laughs> I feel yeah. Like I'd be pretty easy to <laughs> gaslight, probably. This I think so. With my terrible memory. I don't even know if you'd be... I think that you people could literally just tell you anything, and you'd be like, okay... I don't well, know if that's it's, no, it's, as more, much as just, it's more like you did this, and I can't trust myself to remember. No, I that's so weird that. because every time that we've done that, you are pretty combative about it. <laughs> that's <laughs> true. Because you have to, you know, 
All I have is my own. And it's oh, and it's my, oracle present, face. my present perception. And, and the only time where it's usually yeah, it's <laughs> so I have to fight for it. If I give it up, it's like I'm I'm just whatever you want me to be. You know, you're so. just a feather in the wind. <laughs> and yeah, you're, this, you're, you're yeah, the this feather moment the right now, I don't gump. think I did that. That's not what my brain. <laughs> yeah. That's you, a good point. You have to give me like documented text video proof. There's a fair point though. It's like if you truly just give yourself up to the idea that you're probably you, always you wrong about the then yeah, you would like totally open you would to just it. collapse. Yeah. yeah. You have to uh, you have to hold so true to, to these to like lies. It. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not lies, it's what my brain is telling me happened. But it might Well, it's kind of a lie of a biology. Lie, so, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Sorry, go ahead, Hunter. Oh, that, that's all, that's don't, all I had. Don't I think. gaslight me, guys. <laughs> I hate it, so gaslight me. <laughs> I was uh, saying that like Alex Ovechkin is a big Putin guy, though. And like, Who's that? Two thirds of the Alex NHL. Ovechkin. He's like the best hockey player in the NHL. Oh, okay. He's probably Russian, right? Yeah, yeah. Russian. well, they're all fucking Russian. Yeah, they're all so Russian. It's just kind of funny. They're like basically American sports celebrities being asked about this thing, and they're just like, no comment, you know? I, I, I think no that, comments I hope, fair enough. I, when, I hope it I hope it ends soon is what they <laughs> what they say. I mean yeah. like you gotta give them a break to some extent. It's like if you say the wrong fucking thing, you probably have to worry about your family <laughs> in that's Russia. True. That's true. So like that's no true. comments, probably about as neutral as you can get without putting yeah, your family true. at risk. Without also jeopardizing no, your I think that, I think that, I think they're a bunch of evil Russians in there. No, I think what I'm saying say. is I think that they're like, Oh well, this is good like money. What am I gonna do? Like I I'm gonna yeah. I'm not gonna say anything. Yeah, there's no. I don't think there's any kind of even even no comment already is like not even the right option, but it's like the less hazardous. I think. I think I hope it ends soon. Is the smartest because mm. you could be anyone. You could be like, I hope the. Oh, fuck! My heel got caught on the wire. I hope the Russians just absolutely crush them. That could be interpreted <laughs> that way, or it could be interpreted with, I hope the Russians get kicked out. You know, that's a very smart, neutral, Swiss what, answer. What do you mean by that? I just really hope it ends soon. Just hope they, uh, you know, the fighting stops. I play hockey. <laughs> I hit buck. I hit buck. I hit buck. Yeah, let's not devolve into doing Russian accents. feel like that's already played out mm. since this whole thing begun. Is it? I think so. Is Hezbollah pro-Russia? All, all Probably that, not. It's all fucking... that, that circus takes place in Russia. <laughs> Hezbollah is... Okay. <laughs> He's a Christ-like figure, I agree. He's definitely <clears throat> probably sitting... As like a baby in front of like a large man on a four wheeler right now. It's funny. He, well, <laughs> yeah. he is he is having like a meme renaissance right now because he's like the funniest Russian man, you know. So. The funniest Russian man the of all of Russia. He's not like. Hasbula's not even like real Russian, is he? It's, it's he's one of those like separatist Russia, states. He's Dagestani, yeah. but it's yeah. in Russia. He probably fucking he probably fucking hates him then. Yeah, yeah. I saw the Kingsman. Oh, you or did the Kingsman, the new one <laughs> with a good it sucked. sucked? Yeah. I thought it looked kind of interesting. But. I thought it did too. Well, I thought that the Rasputin. You're talking about the Russian shit. It made me think of Rasputin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he was supposed to be a huge. Uh, the, 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 in the trailer, they're like, "Oh, I thought he was the main villain." Oh, he's like, not. Oh, that's fun. No, but he's so charismatic. He's the best part of that movie. Why did they not? Fools. It's really funny. Like all the Rasputin shit's really good, and then everything afterwards, you're just like, "Oh." It's pretty much just like a retelling of. It reminded me of uh, Allison brought a good point. It reminded me of like. Abraham Lincoln Vampire Slayer, where it was like, oh, it's history. Funnily retold, enough, but I never we know saw the it. truth. It's not good. Why would you ever? The title. I saw it in high. I think I saw it in junior high or high school, awesome. and I went to I went to an empty theater. Me and my friends did it. It's like a meme, whatever. And at the end of the movie, he he gives the Gettysburg Address, and we all stood up and we were like, <laughs> <laughs> saluting. Nice. Which is so funny that that movie even happened because it reminds me of the Wise Kids You Know sketch. Where it's it's Abraham Lincoln at the R. play R. where he's like, Holy <laughs> fucking shit, I'm va- holy fucking shit, Hamlet, a vampire. And he like just walk around and then yeah, Abraham's at the top and he's just like, Look up behind you <laughs> 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 Yeah, that, that that sketch is so fucking funny. <laughs> they were great, man. Yeah, really, really st- <clears throat> it's like uh if it definitely felt like premium like YouTube sketches before like YouTube was kind of picking up. The lead comic, you just 
got fucking smited last year. Yeah, was that another one of God's fucking yeah. initiative? Sean, <laughs> he was smited, dude. He was. Yeah, he was, just, ever, he was did, mowing did his so lawn and he got hit by a car. Is that true? I think so. Yeah. I think, uh, well, maybe it's just I don't know. Bit. I, you'd have to uh, fact once check again. That. That, was, that was the thing where they were on the Zoom call talking about it. Right? That's what I heard. I that's what I was thinking in my head as well. Yeah, th- I'm pretty sure that's what. Which I, I don't know if they're like that. Might have been a joke. Because I'm pretty sure immediately afterwards. Yeah, they're like, oh, uh, he was yeah, mowing his yard, and all of a sudden he got plowed by this car. It was pretty funny. I mean, they were joking about so his what death really here, happened? I have no idea. Are you going to joke when I die like that? No. <laughs> I'll probably be too sad. Ah. That or I'll be like, who? <laughs> who, who died? Who? <laughs> Tom, Tom is dead. Tom. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, maybe it didn't happen. He died in his backyard. It was ruled an accident, but it was from blunt force trauma to his head, and he was also huh. drunk. What an accident. So, yeah, I, don't know, I wonder man. if he fell. He fell two stories from the uh, Ah, fuck. Man, I prefer the mowing the lawn story. I prefer the blunt force he, trauma he was, one, because it's less like it could happen story. to me. I liked that he was innocent. And just was taken out. Yeah. Nah, that's spooky, yeah. dude, because it makes you feel like it can happen to you, which can, but you know, you don't like to be reminded of it. statistics like flying. People are always nervous about flying, but like driving is ten times more dangerous. Probably a but lot still, more than ten times. Yeah, ten times more dangerous. I said. And okay. That's, and that's ten times really, exactly. What do you yeah. mean the weirdest celebrity death that you know of is? Weirdest celebrity death I know of is. I don't have one. Sorry, I jumped. Up. You know when people in game shows press the buzzer and then they don't have an answer. I don't know. I mean, that was me. The, 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 the Elvis, you like it, you the like Elvis the, one is always. It's pretty. like in kindergarten when the teacher asks the question. Like you know, you don't even raise your hand. You just start answering before. Yeah, I, I, I always love the, the, the hand behind the head. It's the support, yeah, dude. Where, oh, where does uh, uh, I know it's uh, 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 Mr. Mr. Dyson, but you, over you here. But you don't know the answer. You're just dragging your uh, so no one else can answer until. You um. <laughs> Trevor, you need a mic if you're going to participate. No, that, like was, that was a good one. The Russian kid that was in Star Trek, he had a, like a Toyota, and the, oh, he fucking the killed. The parking brake failed, and the fucking thing rolled down the hill and killed him while he was checking his. Mail. That sounds like Little. Russian nonsense to me. I'll uh, tell you what, I, I still, I still think Elvis. I think just Toyota dying, did like a recall, like though, while taking a shit. Cars. But Elvis was on his toilet, just a giant fat piece of shit, probably like I, the exact weight I am right now, <laughs> on his toilet, probably high and drunk. And he just was taking a shit, and he fucking yeah. He uh, what a what an Elvis way to go out though, huh? That's the way a king dies. That's where they found the king. <gasps> the king's dead. Yeah, shit all over the floor. They said that he had like a ton of shit in his stomach still when he died. Yeah, but it could have been like something mundane. But instead, he died on the toilet, which but it's just it's a headline. Mm. That's a very pop kind of, well, showbiz kind of a, way to kind die. Of a, kind of a poopy headline. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yes. <laughs> Hunter's just having a stroke right now, <laughs> shitting himself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to like alert you guys. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, it's funny face hunter. Good job. <laughs> My one eye like starts just like rolling back this way. <laughs> I'm like, holy shit! Wow, you're the commitment. You're very good at this. <laughs> you know, kind of keep pivoting into your Elon, Elon Musk thing. <laughs> I always forget about that too. <laughs> he he's a hero. I don't know what hero that was. Uh, what's your guys' next tune gonna be? <laughs> don't what? Don't drop your heads. <clears throat> I'm curious. I don't know. Kuma, the Kuma. I was just thinking. Oh, you talking about that? I think that's right. You, when you're talking about Elvis dying of drugs, like I'm thinking recently, what do, what do I do about this constant up and down depression? I'm probably just gonna have to start doing drugs. Just start getting drunk. I, like you, I'm not, you know? I, if I could, how, be, how does one get into? If alcoholism? I could be honestly, completely how transparent, you with you, it I was thinking about like, oh, what if I stop drinking alcohol? Mm-hmm. Probably be and really then, good. <laughs> what if I stop drinking alcohol and I replaced it with smoking weed? And okay. I tr- and I tried getting into smoking weed as like a way to uh, help with anxiety. Crazy idea. <laughs> Sleep. Go make me a coffee. Vitamins. <laughs> exercise. Not substance abuse of any Those kind. Are my drugs. My drugs is a cool fresh air upon my or, face. Or you think you'll become a weed guy to- though? I don't know. I've I really I've only smoked weed like five times. I'm not a mm-hmm. huge person, but I've heard that it's. Uh, but it's well, I say five times, but it was like fifteen. When I was like fifteen, 
Um, Don, have you been taking vitamin D? <laughs> no, I need okay. Five thousand UI every day. Mm-hmm. Uh, probably do. I ha- I, I, I'll be honest. I, I'm parts. a weak man. I have to have something that's a somewhat of an escape. I, have I to. happen to have kombucha. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I'm glad. And, I, and I'm glad. I just. I, I know myself. Flavor it I have to have something I can look forward to and that kind of thing. That's easy. And if it's fucking smoking weed and it helps my anxiety and stuff, I, I just, I'm like, it's worth a try. You just have to also appreciate there are going to be, it's not just all going to be roses and sunshine. Like, I smoke weed, my anxiety goes away. No, I don't Joe Rogan. That. It's going to- Joe Rogan. Well, what does Joe Rogan say? He's good now, dude. Yeah, Apparently, he's just totally- Okay, so if he, if he went cold turkey, we'd probably see a very dark side of Joe Rogan. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think, like, over, you do it enough, over enough time, it- probably exacerbates problems that you already have like if you're anxious i feel like we probably over a long enough period of time based on literally nothing Mm -hmm. no i I think there is something i just don't recall what but there there is some kind of long-term thing that gets overlooked you know because it's because everyone's like like, weed yeah yeah yeah, but hey, you, you got to do what you got to do. I don't know. It's, I'm just saying it could that be better it, than alcoholism. I don't know. It's probably better than being an alcoholic. So fair enough. Yeah. yeah sure. Are you an alcoholic? <laughs> I don't think I'm an alcoholic. I do. I like to drink, but it's definitely mm-hmm. not like every do you, day. Do you, you don't You've drink lived every with day. me for six months. Do you think I'm an alcoholic? Yeah, I'm remotely close to it. Okay. Well, that's good. I mean, months even. Mm-hmm. There, there's been literal months that I have not drank. <laughs> it was. It, but when I it drink. Was different it, when it, you it, first came, though. It was like literally every day, Jack and Cokes, to be fair. It was just kind of. So you were in a dark place. Perhaps. When I was here? Well, also probably. <laughs> well, when you well first I, was moved also, here. I was also probably like just happy. Right. And excited. Yes. Oh, yeah. I like. That's I, that's I, I like. reason to drink every day. I don't know why. Yeah, like, well, it's you're the same reason if I go to a bar. I'm going to like. Yeah, fair enough. If I go to a bar, I'm not a person where I'm like, oh, well, I'll enjoy this one whiskey and Coke. I'm just. It's like I'd rather get a buzz going or something. Same way with that. Or also, same things if I'm like trying to write or something, having some whiskey, doing <clears> whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Have you taken any of the supplements I made you buy? No, I didn't even buy them. Oh. <laughs> I haven't gotten them yet either. Even after last time. After the last time I heard. Literally, myself. like. And I just did it again. And so much of had depression. The I was like, oh, yeah, last time I was going to sort this out. So much of depression is because of all this. Uh, I was trying to think of a joke, but I can't. But you're it. so depressed, you can't even yeah, come I'm just up with so one. I'm sad that I can't do it. <laughs> yeah, old, uh, old Naruto's ninth place, which is. Ah, oh, fuck, that's, really? That's not a very strong 10 that it's ranking against. I'll tell you what either. causes fucking depression is that YouTube studio app. Mm. Fuck that thing. If you want to know, if you want to put down to number out of 10 how you're feeling today, look at your recent <laughs> upload. That'll tell you. <laughs> I'm feeling a nice 8 out of 10 today. Is what you're feeling. <laughs> it's pretty accurate. And then even when it's 1 out of 10, it's, it's never like, oh, 1 out of 10. It's always like, I'm feeling 1 out of 10. Mm-hmm. I, well, I like, man, like, we're good. Like that's we're number one, spot. right? Like, when when the cartoon is yeah. one out of ten for me, I'm fucking walking on sunshine. You are pretty. You're pretty good optimist like, when it comes to that. Yeah, I mean, it's, well, in yeah. general too. Like, I, I mm-hmm. don't even think that you're probably that bummed about the nine out of ten right now. You know, it is what it is. What's well, always just Pop a stepping stone to the next vitamin thing. D pill. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> the doctor's like, you need to cool it. This is, this is my sunshine. Have you tried smoking weed? Can I up like, it to 30,000 UI, please? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not getting the same effects as before. <laughs> okay, you're overhydrating. What do you mean? <laughs> exactly. You're going to die if you keep drinking this much water. Your body better. is drowning from the inside. <laughs> you're like, <laughs> like water coming out of your mouth while you're talking. Coming out of my gills. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Pouring water into your gills as you're talking. What are you talking about, dog? <laughs> IV drip of vitamin D. Hell yeah, dude. So yeah, the cartoon that's going to solve our problems is what Akuma trying to coom. Akuma trying to coom in his coom cave. When he told me that, I was like, "It's so dumb that it's probably going to work." <laughs> I just want to make something I want to make for yeah, once. Yeah, no, I feel yeah, like I, I feel that I'd love to draw I, Akuma I in that's the great. cave, trying to watching porn and stuff. But yeah, I think that's a fucking great idea. Is this our comeback hit? I don't know. We'll see. I think there's a certain amount of rebuilding you have to do after something gets fucking demonetized and age gated, mm-hmm. and maybe it's better to this not is burn the first, first our greatest. Stone yeah. Towards- <laughs> well, maybe it's better not to burn our greatest hits. Right. And to burn an Akuma Coom cartoon. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm doing a fucking grimace McRib thing. That's a great. That's, that's what the fuck? Fuck you, Don. Akuma Cooming's the best thing ever. Uh, it's least, in his name. At least with what I'm saying, I'm going is to like, cool the, the streamer thing has like an online mm-hmm. presence. Thing. I really don't know. I'm. I'm very. 
<clears throat> I'm skeptical. I really don't know how this is going to go. Oh, yeah. I, as a McDonald's thing, a yeah, real big leap of faith for you, Hunter. Yeah. I, I had that one thing. Well, I'm, I'm even thinking about with the thumbnail to think about branding it like the other one because the other one does ronald show up is it part of put the... him in the background so that you have an excuse no, I'm not that's what I, would I, do. Feel, I feel like just click baiting people to just say fuck it get him in the seat so they forget about it he wasn't even in that was he yeah. <laughs> 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 you could totally put him like behind the counter or something running the cashier just looking yeah in one shot that'd be funny <laughs> yeah there he is yeah i i feel like McDonald's probably has more pull than Street Fighter these days, probably, mm. as, as a topic. I don't know. Well, has I Street th- Fighter sold a billion that, burgers? Uh, in terms of the food market game, you're probably right. McDonald's probably not ahead. I will say, though, I, I think that's a good move, too, with that Street Fighter thing. Because I bet you anything as the – I would imagine they're going to keep releasing, like, promo stuff. Oh, it's for keep sure. High. So, <clears> so, kind of the best idea ever, maybe, perhaps. Maybe not ever. But I think Maybe it's a smart ever move. all time. And also, it's Goat. just, just going to get another boost too whenever Meh. the game comes out. So it's like, sure. Yeah. There you I go. Was, I've been trying to think about that too. Instead of just like initial release booming, thinking about how it has longevity <laughs> right. with that kind of shit. Maybe, but you're kind of working against like the algorithm. How so? Because you're put like you're saying like, well, you know, this thing comes out and maybe it'll get a little boost of views, and I think that's true to an extent. But I think there's also a suppressive nature of the algorithm based on time content <clears throat> has been out. So I th- is the suppression I th- I th- stronger than the boom? Maybe I think that people also come back to stuff or things get uh, like uh, if there's tons of people making content, it will get pushed back again if it has like a Street Fighter tag in the yeah. That's probably fair. Thing. I uh. I do try and like when writing scripts and stuff, make a concerted effort not to date stuff. That's like a yeah. Big thing sometimes I, hate I mean, I, I agree, cause, but I think at the same time, it's like if something's just meant to exist for this time frame. Well, that's that's, that's one too. thing. That's one thing, sure. But like, you could put like our Transformers cartoon is a good example. Mm-hmm. We put no, yeah, like, let me use my iPhone 4s no, exactly. He, that kind he of thing. says yeah. it's 2016 Megatron and. Which I, always fucking annoyed me, even when yeah. we were. But doing you guys it. wanted to do it's the current year, which would have been gay. I agree, that's not yeah. perfect either. But you know, yeah. so I try and like avoid that in cartoons, no, just yeah. to give it like I was listening to uh, evergreenness. I was listening to Winds of Plague, and it just made me think about that because on their 2008 release, there's a song where it starts off, and it's like it starts off, it's like, what the fuck is up, motherfuckers? This is Winds of Plague on that 2008 shit. That's what yeah. he says. Yeah, and I'm like, oh man, it's been that long. <laughs> I was like, oh god, 2008, holy fuck. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I think it's going to be a hit. The yeah. uh, well. second chair when that happens, I'm curious to see mm-hmm. how that does for you or how that affects your guys' Probably terribly. mentality. Is that what you want? And if you start, if you, you start seeing, if you're like, well, maybe the weed thing isn't that big of a deal. <laughs> <laughs> I've had many chances to walk that dark, dark path onto that devil's lettuce cabbage path, but I've never been tempted yet. Mm-hmm. I've never given and a second fuck about channel it. woes. Aren't gonna tip me over the edge. I don't think it's hell. I don't think it's woe. It's I think hell. it's just like the uh, the anxiety of it all. It's just what it is. It's like it's becoming more about me just being like, <sighs> like I understand getting a fucking grip a bit. Yeah, I get it. <clears throat> I just there's so many things you could try first that you just like won't. Yeah, true. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> and let me tell you, it's awesome. You got me there. It's awesome, and I love it. <laughs> The only reason, also, I you know, one of the biggest one of the biggest reason I fucking hate weed is the smell. I hate the smell of weed and like it being on your clothes and that kind of shit. When I have, dude, when I like get all. bo, it smells like weed. It's disgusting. I really don't even think I've smelled your bo before. I don't think you've. I've smelled my bo and it's fucking disgusting. Like <sighs> d- disgusting. It's like, and it's probably because I'm fat, and probably definitely is affected by like what I'm eating and shit. But holy <laughs> fuck, fat people's mix. BO is the worst. Right. It is. It smells like like rotten tortilla, f- like <laughs> rotten tortillas. <laughs> it's like a dog. You know, dogs smell really yeasty. Whenever you know what I'm talking about. Uh, no. Is that kind of thing? Well, you have a dog. I think I, think, I think I know what you're saying. It's just a yeasty you sm- word. You, you, <laughs> you yeah. smell. You sm- yeah. It, it, it's a. You it's very a, vaginal. You, 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 if, if you if you're like sitting there, you kiss your dog's forehead. You're like whenever you go to a dog, mm. you smell his head. It smells like tortillas sometimes. I can see that. Mm. Whatever. So yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And that's why I always saw my dog Rowan. I'm like, oh, mm. it smells like tortillas. And then he takes a bath, and I'm like, wow, you smell so much better. <laughs> I'm like, you don't even know. You're like, oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, extra kiss his belly and suck in his cock. I don't think. Fair, it, though, no, you, you you maybe look smelly to people, but I don't think I've ever smelled you. I don't think I've been. Ugh. I've smelled Hunter. Hunter smells today. Yeah, you're you're 
I've smelled hunting. Well, my nose like, doesn't work either. <laughs> like so. bad smells. I mean, you know, just like sweat smell sometimes. Yes, yeah. I guess it's not. It's not. It's not my fucking it's not piss terrible. You. Huh? Well, I, I well, and now I've made that conscious decision. I have like, I have like deodorant in my studio, in my fucking, mm-hmm. like in my truck. I even have razors in my truck for my unibrow. That doesn't help. It's all the time, dude. I'm a fucking mess. I'm a goon. I need to smoke, start smoking weed. I'm gonna get my life together. You're gonna, dude, <laughs> it's gonna mask any bo or anything. That's yeah. fine. Yeah, exactly. Like, God, you smell terrible. I'm like bo. You're like no, the weed. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. The smell's not even the worst part. It's the fucking culture. Oh yeah, for sure. For I hate sure. it. Yeah. But yeah. is it worse than alcohol culture? I'm not sure. Yeah, definitely. Is I th- it? I think socially, I would rather be around drink not drunks not like obnoxiously drunk people but like at a bar if we're having drinks i'd rather be around that mm. yeah like if people are just getting a buzz and you're hanging sure, out and sure, stuff. Sure. but yeah i would rather be around potheads than people that are like blackout drunks i would mm. the fucking worst i think uh I think you can suppress the culture thing too you can just like you get like delta eight vape pens you know and no one even has to know about it i would you rather know, smoke like, fucking joints than do, than do yeah, just fucking the, pens the, or the whatever ju- well yeah the, the vape the vape juice has all kinds of poison in it. I don't think it, that's sure. what he's but worried about. I'm, I'm just talking about just the visuals, right? <laughs> culture and smell, you know, you, you can eliminate both. Well, the culture oh, is yeah, people's yeah, yeah. like yeah. almost religious zeal at dedication to weed. Yeah. Right. Or I think, and also I remember as a kid, like when I was 15 and smoked, I just thought it was so boring. Like as soon as people were smoking, it was like the day was done. Like yeah. just, everyone was just kind of like, uh, uh, uh. and then also that's whenever people start listening to Sublime and shit. Mm. What a bad time. I fucking hate Sublime. I will say uh, weed weed smokers, whatever, are way more accepting of people who don't smoke than alcohol people are of people who don't drink. I think people that have alcohol are just surprised. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I've never met anybody who are like, dude, just come on, just drink. Usually people are really? like, oh, really? I've, I've never been around that. Oh, there you go. Yeah, it's because... Everybody yeah. I've been around... Because you've always been like, hell yeah. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> I'm like, well, that's kind of weird, actually. I guess I've accepted every drink I've ever been offered. <laughs> uh... <laughs> <laughs> Let's say, oh, I will say though, but I am like, if I if I do start smoking weed, then I'll finally be able to maybe appreciate the full extent of like doom metal. And That's all the, true. And, and all the weed inspired. Do you know what? That. This may be slightly excited for you to smoke weed. I want to get really high and just listen to like Electric Wizard for like two hours. I want to get your perspective of how weed affects. Put on put on Bomb Ripper. Ripper. Yeah, Bomb yeah. Ripper. Dude, uh, what what's the band with uh, Satan? That album? Yeah, it's Bong Ripper. Bong Ripper. Such a good album, dude. It's great. Instrumental shit is just... Satan is real. No. Who's that? No. Uh, Satan is real. Satan is real. Satan is... That's a uh, creator. That's oh, a German yeah. band. I don't even know that. No. I've never heard that song. No, Satan is... It's just like Bong Ripper just makes these like doom metal albums, but they're all the instrumentals. It's just like... Good, like like really kind of tread... Like uh, sludgy, like slow, kind of just... like very like... Dum. Very chill. Mm. For very, like very five chill. minutes. <laughs> yeah, and then there's Bell Witch, where it's just, just one track for 40 an hour and minutes. A half. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or no, it's, se- it's 70 minutes long. You're just like, it's I'll- just. Durr. It's like. <laughs> it's awesome. It's really fucking good. That 40 minute song, I can't remember what it's called, but it's when that like ethereal looking spirit's coming out of like a mirror. Yeah, Mirror Reaper. That's uh, I re- like that song a lot. That's 70 minutes. It's not 40. Oh. Well, it just goes by so it's, fast. It's, yeah, it's like, oh my God, wow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they, they made that 70 minutes feel like 40 minutes. Like, <laughs> it's <freeze>. incredible. <laughs> yeah, no, that fucking, it's really great. Beautiful artwork, too. I yeah. That, that album yeah, yeah, cover's yeah. fucking amazing. Sweet. It's really, really good. Yeah, I don't know, though. I'm, I'll, I'll see. I, Me and Allison are really just not weed smoking people. And I agree, the culture's fucking terrible. I really don't like the whole, even just the drug scene in general. Because usually people that smoke weed are also like, Oh, we got mushrooms, or oh, we got, you know, we fucking <clears throat> this or that. And I'm like, God, I, it's just very messy. All of this is very but yeah, messy. It, every person, party. usually it's like, well, the majority of people I've seen that friends that were doing that kind of shit were like crust punks mm. and shit. And it's just the grossest, ironic, like cool. p- things in their house. And shit. <laughs> I'm You're a just crust like, punk. Cool. Just saying that people are out there. It's little plastic bags with like shit in them, like bits of mushrooms and old weed and stuff <laughs> i was gonna say i'm like i don't think i, I haven't experienced the shit bags just like dog poop and <laughs> in, <Yeah>. in <laughs> <laughs> i had a friend at a party who huffed gasoline at a party one time that's cool that's very redneck that was very it was actually at an, at an art party uh-huh. 
it was very it was i was like that's probably dangerous I, there was like all sorts of drugs going on but i'm like, mm-hmm. I'm like why don't you just put that in your car and call <laughs> God damn. Like, God damn. Was it, did they was there an effects oh yeah you get fucked up huffing gas what does it do they're just like oh, oh. i think it hits you in waves so you get like super mm-hmm. high for like uh Three, four Ten seconds. seconds or whatever, and then they come back like, oh, but then they're, like, oh. Oh. they're all like lightheaded and shit. I gotta sit down. That kind of Damn, thing. what a time. <laughs> yeah, I kind of think that's like instantaneous mass brain damage. There's yeah, it's like, it's just <laughs> like wildfire in your head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. That'd be cool if we, this podcast is sponsored by one of those drug companies. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah, I, I, I would get sponsored by Dare. If we got sponsored, if, if we got like sponsored, if, if we yeah, exactly, if we got sponsored by Dare, I would be drunk on every podcast. I'm telling you right now. We gotta have a we gotta have a drunk episode. We have never done that yet. I'll do a drunk episode with you, bud. Drunk episode, and then we gotta do a high episode, and then I'll be not gonna anxious and not gonna paranoid. do that. That's weird that you would do uh, whiskey. Isn't like alcohol substantially worse than probably? Whiskey? Yeah, I think yeah. <laughs> one out, one whiskey versus one joint. Probably the whiskey's worse. But in terms of damage, yeah, yeah. it's like an odd line. Pro- well, actually, if you drink whiskey in moderation, I think it's supposed to be good for you no, in some way. No, no, no. But if you got drunk once, some with your heart is high. Once getting drunk is probably worse than high. Yeah, both are probably negligible. Sure. Doing it once, regardless, it doesn't matter. I was just saying it'd be a funny. I thing. just I fucking uh, I was gonna say we, I the, hate the, the feeling. The bit yeah, would be. I don't like it either. Feels the bit like, would be why. Well, I've only the first time I the first two times I smoked weed I really liked it it was like a very chill thing but then after that it was I just kept getting like panic attacks but I was gonna say a funny <laughs> ah, would be, my anxiety <laughs> well I did well what I'm saying though is that I think I got fucked up because it was that chemical shit oh it was made up it was weed like canine it was like synthetic imaginary weed yeah well, what's what I mean is, but ever since then, even when I tried weed again, I had a panic attack. I don't know if it's like a mental thing now of like, when I feel like feel like coming wrong, I'm like, a, <gasps> oh, I just start freaking right. out. So, so I don't you were know. saying you smoked spice? And I, I smoked a uh, cloud. It was like uh, K two. That's what it was called. Yeah, that's hmm. spice. Yeah, that's like. That I, they, I they they didn't even tell me why well, I had a severe panic <laughs> Good attack. And I was like, oh my god. Yeah. Well, I think that you're just young and you're like, oh, I didn't, like I didn't know. I, mm-hmm. it, I didn't even know we were playing World of Warcraft and he had a fucking pipe made out of a monster can and I was like, did it, whatever. And it, it was like instant. I was like, oh, oh, fuck. And he, and he was like, he was like, what's wrong? And I was like, dude, I think I'm fucking dying. I don't think uh, regular weed or whatever. Oh, it's the Ukrainian flag. All right. Yeah, it's love Ukraine. It's love Ukraine. I think uh, the regular old fucking weed doesn't hit you that quick. No. Mm-hmm. Well, anyways, but, but yeah, the first time I remember it was very nice. I enjoyed it a lot, actually. I got. Uh, I remember in my head, not to cut you off, but no, I'm sorry, just kidding, but the uh, I remember in my head they were like, "Yeah, it'll probably take a second for you to feel it," and I was like, "All right, whatever." And I remember just feeling like really heavy, mm-hmm. and, then, and then in my mind it was just. <laughs> when I got I like my brother my took me to right. Amsterdam, and I got very high, and it just felt like I was surrounded by like jello. That's how I could describe it. Just like, boo, you know? Yeah, kind of. Well, so people... But then like, you, you drink it, sorry, but you, you drink an orange juice and you're just like, fine. It was really weird. Yeah, that is weird. I've heard hmm. that too. I think, it, well, there's like so many fucking different strands of shit too. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't fucking that. know. But the, uh, what was I even going to say? The, oh, I was going to say, but for the, the bit, I thought it'd be funny is if we, it's like we open that finally. Mm-hmm. And then that way, in that way, it was like yeah. it was all smoking here. We would just turn on the fog machine once, but then it would, that rest would be the smoke. Even though I don't, I don't really know if people know that there's like fog in there. If that's mm-hmm. well, it's not on. We uh, we didn't run it today. God, it looks like it's on. It's not. It's just I filthy. It's just I, I, fog. I, bet, I bet it smells disgusting in there. You want to half it? No, you might. Yeah, maybe. Did you put fog in there? It looks like there's some. Maybe it just looks like it does look condensation yeah. and no. <laughs> we all just fucking. No, yeah, it's just <laughs> condensed. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Maybe not our smartest idea. I think so. I think it's, I think it's great. I love yeah. it. Whoops, Maybe there's a rat in there already, at least. Yeah. I like how all the uh, ice cream cones have started just like collapsing from all the moisture. Mm-hmm. <laughs> One day, what's gonna we're gonna come in here and see, it, and they're gonna be like going through. We're gonna like, dissolve <laughs> through the great. Go through That'd the- be awesome, though. That looks sweet. <laughs>